All right. In this tutorial, we will see how to create this zoom effect inside Adobe After Effects. This is quite popular technique used in documentaries and various advertisements as well. Let's do it. So here I have imported three clips. Well, I have downloaded it from pixabay.com. Link is given in description below. Although you can create it using two clips, but more clips will result great output. Also, it will help me to demonstrate powerful technique behind it. So let's take one of these clips and create a composition with it. Here it is. Well, my clip's length is long, so I'm going to trim it from the end side up to four seconds. And the shortcut key is Alt or Option key plus right bracket key. Now, let's put second clip over it. And let's trim it from the start point up to three seconds. Actually, the motto is keep both layers overlapped over each other, but not more than one second. Also, let's uh, keep its duration only four seconds. Now, put third one just as we did for the second clip. I mean, second and third clips should overlap on each other. Now, let's create an adjustment layer. It should be above to the second clip. And uh, let's keep this adjustment layer only two seconds long, roughly. We don't need that much, but it won't matter. Now, we need two effects on this adjustment layer. First one is motion tile effect. And uh, other one is transform effect. So when we are on the first clip, let me zoom in timeline. Now, if I scale down this clip, say 50%, now using motion tile, we can duplicate this clip number of times to fill the screen just like that. And in order to avoid jerks, let's check this mirror edges. And you will get something like this. Well, if you don't know how motion tile works, I have a dedicated tutorial for that. Click on the i button or link is given in the description below. Now, let's scale it down up to 25% and increase output width and height to fill the screen. Now to create the animation, let's go to two second 20th frame. Although we can change duration according to us later on. Let's add a keyframe on scale. Now go to just one frame before your next clip starts just one frame before and here press u key to open animated parameters and add a keyframe to scale now go to the first keyframe and set scale value back to 100 percent so it will animate like this but as soon as we will move to next clip it will affect this one also because it's applied on an adjustment layer so what we do on the next frame, we will change scale value to 100 again. Now, since I want zoom out effect, so we will keep its value to 220%. Now move 10 frames or 15 frames forward. I mean, whatever duration you want for your animation, I want it to take a little bit longer time frame. So I keep it after 17 frames. And here, scale value should be 100%. So first clip will go, suddenly appear second clip. But it's not too fancy right now. It all depends on graph editor. Add is ease to all keyframes. Jump to graph editor. And to confirm we both are on the same page, right click here and select value graph instead of speed. Now select this handle and pull it towards very end of right side. Same with this handle also. Now do same with other two handles, but instead of right, pull it towards left side. Actually, what we are doing on the first keyframe, making it very slow and very fast on the second keyframe. And on the third one, just opposite of it. I mean, fast in the beginning, and slow at the end. 
Let's check it. That's pretty good. Next thing is to add some motion blur. And the best way is to use this CC Force Motion Blur. And keep motion blur amount high. Well, I am keeping it to 15 because high amount will result huge render time. So keep it in mind. So this is with blur. This is without blur. To see more effect of it, Check this here. That's the difference. Let's check it one more time. Great, isn't it? Now coming to the best part. We need not to create same animations again for next transition. We just duplicate this adjustment layer, put it above to the third layer, and move it just above to the overlapping area of both layers, just as we did for last transition. Open animated parameters and adjust its position. It will do the rest. Well, here, whatever you want to change in animation, just play with scale value. No need to change other settings or apply new effects or anything else. Hope you like it guys. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe this channel.